Hey guys, what's up? I'm Slim and you're watching Slimothy TV. In this video, I have a super special one for you guys. We are reviewing the HP Sprocket Studio Plus. I wanna give a big thank you and shout out to HP and the representatives for sending this out free for review. Let's go ahead and get into this. Now, if you guys remember a long time ago, we actually reviewed the HP Sprocket, one of their original models. Uh, it was many years ago. The video is still up if you wanna go see it. We really enjoyed that little printer. It was a super nice thing to have, but this takes it up a whole nother level. This is their Studio Plus, and it can instantly print four by six photos from your smartphone. So let's go ahead and crack this open and see what we've got. So we can join the community here, it says, and here is the printer itself. Let's see how big this is. I'm very curious because the original one was pretty small. I think this one's a little bit bigger than the other, and it should have a little bit more capability. So let's get this box out of the way here. Now they also threw in a pack of four by six paper, which we will be using 108 sheets, which is pretty good, two cartridges. So we're gonna go ahead and give this a shot as well. Now let's see what's in this first little box here. It looks like this is just the power adapter. And here we have the printer itself. Wow, this is super tiny. Amazingly small little printer right here. Very cute, will not take up much desk space at all. It's got little rubber feet on the bottom here. Of course, we're gonna test it out. And finally, let's see what's in this little box here. So. This has, well, I'm not sure what that is, but we'll find out. And we've also got a quick start guide here. So let's go ahead and take a peek. So here's how you do it. Very simple install instructions. So I've already got the HP Sprocket app, so this should be very easy. And it looks like it came with a couple of pieces of paper too. So we'll go ahead and rip that open and see what we've got. Okay, so this paper is like legitimate photo paper right here. It feels just like normal photo paper, it's glossy looks really nice. It's the kind of stuff that you would want to put your photos on. And it looks like they don't want you to touch it, but I had to do that to give you guys a descriptor of how that paper feels. So anyways, let's go ahead and figure out how to load this up. We're also going to add in, I think this might be the ink. So we're gonna go ahead and find out. Okay, the more I look at this, the more I just admire how much they have packed into such a tiny printer. I mean, I work with printers all the time and I can tell you they are huge. And this is so small. This is basically portable. You could bring this with you on a trip if you wanted. I mean, here it is compared to my hand. Here's an iPhone 14 Pro, not even the Pro Max. This is just a normal iPhone, absolutely crazy. So if I take this little top part off, you can see in here, then you've got this pretty cool design on here. Very interesting. And then taking a look at the back, you got a little slit here, you got power cord right here. Like I said, you got these rubber feet on the bottom, which is nice. Right here, you can pull this drawer open. And inside here, you can see the rollers. You got the little Wi-Fi icon, the wrench icon, the power button right here. This is literally like your own tiny little printer, but it'll do your four by six photos anytime. So let's go ahead and load this thing up. Let's see how this works. So we got some arrows here, so it's facing inside. So let's go ahead and do that. Here is how it goes in. Let's make sure it works. Ooh, that was kind of scary. <laughs> let's click it in and that's it. Very nice. And then for this, it looks like this is how you load the paper. And the paper goes in just like this with the HP logo on the bottom. So you just kind of set it down like this and then we'll go ahead and close it up just like that. Set that back on top. So this is kind of how I would carry it around if I were to travel or something. Uh, I would keep the paper up here, it keeps it safe. But then when you want to print something, all you have to do is pull this down, grab this, open just this portion and stick it right into here. All right, so now let's do the fun part. So this is the application. Once you sign up, you just go ahead, enter an email address and password. Let's click on my sprockets and then we'll go ahead and get started. And there we go, we'll hit next. Now we just have to choose our sprocket that we have here and we have the Studio Plus. Next up, we have to power on the sprocket. So I've got it plugged in right here. Let's go ahead and hold the power button. And there we go, it is coming to life here and I believe it is on, so we will set that down. And we will continue with these instructions. Yep, I can hear it initializing. So we're good there, load paper. So we now have to load the paper in, which like I already showed you guys, super easy to do. And the paper is now loaded. Install the ink cartridge, we already did that. Make sure that there's nothing blocking anything on the back of the printer, we're good. And since it is Wi-Fi, we do have to initialize it with Bluetooth and it's asking for location, I hit no. We're asking for local network, I hit allow. All right, so it turns out you do have to have location services on, so I've turned it back on and it finally found my Wi-Fi network. So I'm gonna enter in the password here and here it goes, connecting to the Wi-Fi. There we go, setup is complete, that was super easy. Just make sure you do have location enabled. I'm gonna go ahead and turn it off now. All right guys, so I added a couple of photos into this app and I've been kind of looking around in this is really cool. So if you click this little icon down here, you can go straight to camera mode. 
So if you wanted to just take a quick shot right away, you can do that. You can also go to the photo booth, which will take four pictures and kind of make them into a collage back to the gallery. And let's just do a quick one. Okay, wow, so this application you have to have the location on, I guess. I'm not a big fan of that, but that's the way it is. Uh, so it would not find the printer on the network until location was turned back on. Anyways, here are a couple of photos that I've just loaded in. So I'm gonna click on one here and you can see paper tray error, make sure paper is properly installed. So I'm gonna have to check on that here. I can edit the photo real quick. Let's say I wanted to make a quick touch up or edit. I can do that right here on the fly. I can add some cool borders here if I wanted. There we go, very interesting. Let's go ahead and do the, <laughs> Let's do uh, let's do this one because that's kind of got some on the top and bottom. We're just going to do a test print here, uh, so we'll save that. We can also add a frame or border around here. So let's do do this one so it throws in another color. So we'll save that. Yes, looks good. Okay, so when you're loading the paper, you do want to kind of push it in until it clicks a little bit. So uh, that was my issue there. Then on this page, you can choose how many prints you want. So I'm just going to do one. I'm going to hit print, and that's it. It's literally that easy. So we're going to let this go through, and we'll see how long it takes. I believe it said 90 seconds is how long it takes. Now, while this is doing its thing, there's a couple of neat facts about this printer that I wanna go over with you guys. First off, it is only two and a half pounds, so it's pretty lightweight. The photo quality is 300 DPI. It uses dye sublimination technology, in case you care about that, and it has Bluetooth 5.0 on it. And you can already see this is kind of coming out with a specific color here. It's gonna probably go through there a couple times. Oh wow, there it goes. <laughs> this is really cool. Oh my gosh. Now it's turning pink. And you can see my fingerprint on there, so definitely don't touch the paper. Wow, this is like magic. Oh my gosh. I think it might be about done. Oh, that looks so good. Wow, it's cleaning it up even more. And just like that, it is done. I don't know if that's gonna come through on camera right. You can see my fingerprint right there, so definitely don't touch the paper, or at least before it prints, but that is what it looks like. That is so cool. All right, and as I was going through that, it says firmware update available, so we're gonna go ahead and update that right now. Always make sure your firmware is up to date. You can see firmware update is in progress. Do not reset or turn off the printer, and that the LED will flash. All right, that was pretty quick. It says it is all done installing there. It says to restart the printer, so let's do that now. All right, so we are back in it. So I'm gonna scroll to the side here. You can see if you sign in, you can actually view your Instagram and Facebook photos, even your Google photos right here. So if you wanted to use that, you could. I personally, you know, I don't use those services, so it doesn't really apply to us, but I'm sure 99% of people do. All right, so I think I found a glitch here, guys. Uh, when I click on pre-cut stickers, sometimes it crashes. This time, luckily, it didn't. So it says pre-cut stickers work exclusively with the Sprocket and Sprocket 2-in-1 printers. So you can go ahead and make these pre-cut stickers if you want, if you had specific photos that you wanted to make into those and you had the paper. So that's really cool. All right, so for this next test, I'm gonna go ahead and select four photos. I'm gonna click on collage. And you can see right here what the collage does. You can pinch and zoom to adjust them. So let's go ahead and do that right now. So these are four photos that I haven't printed yet. Uh, you can adjust just like this. So I can zoom in get it just right, even though I think I messed it up, but that's okay. This is just an example. But I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna drag this one up top here. So that is the main focus point right there. And I think that looks pretty good. <laughs> uh, we'll move one of these Slimothy TVs over just a bit. I think that looks pretty good. So let's go ahead and print it and see what we get. So just click the print button, as easy as that and it should get right to it. And this is exactly why you need some space behind your printer because it does spit it out and brings it back and forth a couple of times. Looks like it likes to do that yellow first. Get that base coat down. And while this is printing, I'm gonna show you guys, again, this after it's, it doesn't really need time to dry, but this is what it looks like. If you touch it now, it seems to be okay. I think that original fingerprint was from touching it before it prints. Super nice paper as well. Now this is waterproof paper, tear resistant, and it claims to be fade free. So let's see how hard it is just to tear a little bit. Oh yeah, that is, that is legitimately difficult to tear. So I had to really work at that. The average person is not gonna be able to tear this on accident, I don't think. So this one is actually coming out really nicely. We'll see it on the next pass through here. Oh my gosh, that's looking really good. And after this one, I'm gonna do one more really cool print. So this one is now complete. So this is kind of a collage. I just threw a couple pictures together, but you can imagine what you guys could do with this, especially if you have like a vacation trip and you just want to add in a bunch of photos, some of your friends, you can see just how good the detail is on this print. This looks epic. So these both look really good, but there's a couple more things I wanna show you with this printer. All right, so there's a couple more things I wanna test. First off, I wanna test how good it does with a person. So here is my fiance. Let's go ahead and edit this one, and I'm gonna just go ahead and try out a sticker. So let's go ahead and add these hearts here, 
and we will just put those down here covering up some of those people and I think that looks pretty good so we'll save that and let's see how good this does at printing a person so we'll hit print and off it goes and then after this one there's one more I want to try something with a little bit more brightness and pop to it we'll see how that does with that one as well all right guys I think it's just about done it's looking really good from what I've been able to see and yes it is done here is the final product. Let's see how it looks. That looks amazing. Now, if you're comparing the two, you can obviously see the sides of here got blown out just a bit. Um, could be from HDR, I'm not entirely sure, but the rest of it does look really legit. This is kind of a more difficult photo to uh, replicate just due to the different colors and dynamic range. But there's one more thing I wanna test here, and that would be this photo here. So I'm gonna do this one in, well, it is a landscape mode photo, but we'll see kind of how it prints out and if it can get these colors as deep as it looks in this photo. That is cool that if you accidentally, you know, zoom it down, it kind of, it goes back to the default of, you know, filling the whole screen. If I zoom in, if I wanted to just, you know, take, I don't know why, but if I wanted to just take a side shot of this palm tree right here, it would allow me to do that and I could print it straight from here and it would just be zoomed in on this. But let's go ahead, let's get it back to straight here. There we go. Let's print this one and see what it looks like. All right, so I wanna test something. While that's printing, I'm gonna see if I can hit okay and if I can go back. Let's don't save. Okay, it's still printing, so that is good to know. You can go back and uh, at least look at other things in the app while it's printing. And there we go. I accidentally closed the app there at the end, but it still finished the print, thankfully. So there it is. That looks awesome. That looks almost perfect. It's a little bit blown out right here, but wow, look at those vibrant blues and greens. And this is all done, you know, at your own house. You don't have to send this off to, you know, FedEx or somewhere to get it printed. You do this yourself on your own. Very nice photo paper. You can frame this, give it to a friend, whatever you need. This looks really good. Now I did want to test their tiles feature, but when I click on it, it says it's not compatible with this printer, but I thought it was. That's basically where you take like a big image and you break it up into smaller ones and you can put them together. So overall, what do I think of this printer? Uh, this is a huge step up from the last sprocket that we reviewed from HP. This thing is an absolute beast. I'm gonna go ahead and break it down in real time, just so you guys can see how easy this is to put away when you're finished. Uh, just like this, close this up, boom. You are done. You just unplug it. You might want to power it off first, press the power button, uh, and you're done. That's literally it. And each one of those cartridges should last you about 40 prints. Uh, again, here's a quick look around the device. Super compact, super portable. You could bring this with you on vacation or just set it on your desk at home so it's ready for you when you come back and you can offload and print all of your photos right at your own desk. You don't have to send them off anywhere to FedEx or something because that's kind of creepy anyway. This is like your own personal photo lab. But for the price right now, this thing is almost unbeatable. I remember the last sprocket we reviewed was almost this price if I'm not mistaken. And this is just a whole nother league. Those cartridges last about 40 prints and then obviously the prints last as long as you have them. Here is a refill if you guys want to see. It comes with, like I said, 108 with two extra cartridges inside. So between this cartridge that it came with and that one, it should be just fine to go through all of those. So I'm gonna have this thing linked down below if you guys want to pick one up for yourself. This is the HP Sprocket Studio Plus, and this is the one that I would recommend that I have tested so far. I think these photos kind of speak for themselves. Uh, again, I was not trying to make anything crazy here, but they all look really good, and I'm super happy with how they turned out. So check this thing out. Like I said, links down below if you want to make your own personal photos at your house from your smartphone. And of course, it's all wireless. What's not to love? If you like the video, hit it with a big thumbs up and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.